Eddie Wayne, right? And what I do is um, I turn the fuck up, step back, or I turn down, or um, or I get emotional, make you feel emotional. I don't know shit. I'm I'm Eddie Wayne at the end of the day. I do what the fuck I want to. That's what I do. <laughs> We talking about music interview, we talking about the regular shit because we talking about a court interview. Interview, like not not uh, I guess just in the context. Yeah, I got you. I'm about to do it. The funniest thing somebody's ever um, asked me um, was what was the funniest thing you ever asked in an interview. <laughs> The truth. Everything. I love the vulnerability, the fun, the creativity that comes from it, where it can take you, and just just different ways to explore. I love it. Player one, step back, scope on, least struggle. Shit, <laughs> the struggle be real sometimes. Trying to be a musician, trying to get this homie out here. But uh, I mean, as much as I hate it, I love it too. Cause it's, it's music is what, is what drives me. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Shooter. What? Shooter. I really like his ass when she get on with it. But uh, Cakes the Killer, Cakes the Killer, um, Miss Boogie. Um, just all of New York guy has so many great queer artists though. Out here, it's just ridiculous. And um, yeah, I'm gonna roll with those for right now. All New York, New York core artists stand up. For real, all of us, goddammit. Because it's necessary. Like, I don't feel like anything we can do is without art. And art also being creativity as well. So like we need art to thrive, to push things and to go further. And to like, you know, art is colorful. We need all types of colors in this world to exist. So yeah. I guess that was just some cool shit to say. My attitude, they I'm queer. Nah I'm playing. <laughs> Way <laughs> um, I mean, being queer, I mean, I don't know if it affects my art. I mean, it's just a part of the whole shebang, you know? It's just like, if I'm making art and I'm just talking about my shit, so that's just what it is. But I know it don't affect nothing. It's just a part of it. I guess that's what I should say, right? Um, queer art is like a radical expression of oneself in its truest form. That's what I think. This EP finishing up finally, and this um this album. I got a video I'm about to be filming in uh in New Orleans, so I'm really hype about. But shit, by the time you see this, you might already seen the motherfucker, so. But uh, but yeah, and like, and after that, the sky is not the limit. So. It's, it needs. I need to have more activism in my heart, though. But a lot of times, it's just about feeling and what comes out. But I know for myself, being, 
a person of color in this queer world or in this world in general, a lot of the music that I have like has a lot to do with that side of me that I want people to be more aware of. And also, I just think like, it's about, I have to put more into my art, period. I have to, because it's so important, especially right now. But I know my ass, like, if I feel it, it's gonna come out aggressive as fuck. <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> and not just in this music and shit, you dig? So yeah. Um, inclusion, for sure, like, does everybody need to be involved? Because some of the greatest people we probably ain't never heard of yet. Ooh, Lord. Um, the best song that I've ever released is probably Demons. And the reason why is just is because it was it meant the most to me because I was really in tune with it. I wasn't trying to make something for a crowd or for other people. It's something that really meant something to me about reflecting, just like reflection of self, reflection of oneself, you know. And I really love that about that record. I didn't even know that was this question. Um, real talk though, so shout out to Giant in the building. Um, and we were, um, I've always wanted to do music my entire life, but I've always been timid. Been a late bloomer forever in the day. And, um, but I remember I was in the uh, crib and we was freestyling and stuff because I was, he was trying to talk some hot shit. And I told his ass, so let me get up on this and let me show you what I'm talking about. And, and after that session, he was like, yo, we gotta end up doing this. I would love to do this. And I'm like, well, let's get you into it. And ever since then, it gave me a lot of energy and the strength to like, be like, you know what, I can be vulnerable for so, Let me show everybody this. Be ready. And I'm coming. That's it. <laughs> because I need to do fucking giant pass. Like, I, I, um, <laughs> all of my homies are doing giant pass. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna like show everybody who Eddie Wayne is. You know what I'm saying? Like Eddie Wayne has this motherfucking onion, but a really good fresh onion. Yeah, no, nah, um, because like our music is is music, and everybody needs to hear music from every side of like of the realm. You know what I'm saying? Like queer music is music, man. I don't, I'm, I am one of them corny motherfuckers. I'm like, oh, we don't need these labels. I'm that dude. I'm sorry. Music is music, and we need to be heard like every fucking body else. You know what I'm saying? Even if it wasn't here. People need to hear this shit because it's good music, period. I'm like five to you. I'm not that tall. But to be in giant, a giant in. <laughs> no. I mean, it means the world, especially who, like. Who's doing this and putting like putting this in the forefront? It means the world to be a part of that, to have that name. You know what I'm saying? I love that human being. So yeah, it means the world to be a giant. A giant fan. What up? 
I'm Eddie Wayne, and I'll be at Giant Fest. Um, August 30th and 31st. Make sure you check that out.